the change to this. No, no, this is here. It is HP Unified Functional Testing Product Availability Metrics. I'm going to click on this. Oh, we don't have PDF installed here. Let me click install PDF. PDF. That's a very important document so I want to show you guys. Let's install PDF really quickly. So if uh, so guys, uh, friends who have UFT installed, please go to all programs, HP software, unified functional testing, then this to this document, HP uh, UFT product availability metrics document. Very slow, sorry guys. So basically, these documents give us information uh, about the environment uh, the UFT will work properly, right? Environment requirements. So, so this is a list of operating systems that UFT, you know, supports, right? So we can install starting from XP all the way to Windows 7 and Windows 8.2, right? The latest version works with Windows 8.2, but this is 11.50, I think. So, 
So we have to make sure that our operating system, whatever is installed, uh, is in this list. Uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about virtualization. Okay. Then if we go down to uh, web adding, it will give us the list of browsers that uh, this version of U UFT will support. So Internet Explorer, we need 9, 8, or 7. If we use 10, it might work, but it, it might give issues sometimes. So it's not going to be stable. So you want to make sure when, you, you know, when you're installing a UFT on your machine, either personal or at work, that it's, it's in this list. If it's not in this list, uh, you have to downgrade it, uh, your browser. So Firefox, this version is only uh, support. And Chrome, only this one. So, so there's a website called, I believe it's old. AllDevs.com. So when you come to this website, you can choose the, you know, the let's say Firefox, right? Then you can, if you have to down, uh, downgrade your the version to the one that supports by UFT, so you can get get it from here. Okay. So please remember this. You know, it's going to be handy when you, when you need it. AllDevs.com. Uh, so let's check what's what's our Internet Explorer version, right? Whether it's it's compatible with the UFT or not. So we go here, Internet Explorer. Then go to Tools. Repeat. Oh, help. Right? About Internet Explorer. So we have Internet Explorer eight. Is it supported by UFP? Yes. So it's in this list, so list, so we are in good shape, right? Eh? Uh, so please remember this document. It's called UFT PM, Product Availability Metrics. Uh, as I said, you'll be responsible for your system to be compatible with, your, uh, with the tool, right? So another thing. Uh, another thing to check is if we go to tools and manage add-ons, we have to make sure this one too. When you when you install UFT, it will add this add-on. Have a package company that it's called BHO Manager class. You need to make sure this is enabled. So remember that too. It's part of environment setup, right? So we are talking about the process of setting up the or mesh environment. So first thing we check that uh, our operating system is compatible, then the browser is compatible. Then we went to the add-ons uh, and we made sure that this add-on is enabled. If it's not enabled, we should enable it. Uh, any questions about the environment, sir? So one thing to notice, you know, uh, Microsoft stopped 